SL550. This car, somebody mentioned, one second, somebody mentioned that was here a couple of months back. It's SL550, that's what it says on the booklet. Uh, the previous title, a couple of months back, I wrote SL500, it doesn't matter. One second, uh, guys. Uh, the guys here, they're fixing the exhaust. That's all, it's an exhaust down over there. And that's the aftermarket. Fine. And since yesterday, did I mention today what this? Oh yeah, it's here. Since yesterday, the transmission and the diff is here. Now, one second. Today, what is today? Shit. Wednesday, February 15, 2023. All right. First thing first. Let me start with the diff, with the transmission. Sorry. <laughs> Let me start with the transmission because I have all the parts for the transmission. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do for the diff. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna see the condition of the of the bearings, and then we're gonna see how I'm gonna proceed. Definitely, I'm gonna change the two bearings on the carrier. All right. And it depends how it's gonna be the oil inside. You see that nobody touched it. I'm gonna clean one bucket from there to collect the oil. I wanna see how it looks like the oil. If it has metallic savings, if it's completely black, whatever. So, taking the oil, opening it, and then we're gonna see about the pinion bearings or the pinion seal. If I open the, the nut or not, we're gonna see, we're gonna stand by about that. Transmission, I can move on, and that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's open it to see what's going on. Uh, Makes sense to put the diff over there and open the transmission here. Yeah. Transmission, torque converter, diff. If everything goes well and does have a wear inside, it's gonna be something fast. Like I said, it's gonna be something fast. That means changing the clutches, putting it together, and everybody happy. Uh, they didn't brought me any seals for the drums inside or something So I guess it's only clutches the gasket bolts filter oil pan seal and that's it Yep Yeah, don't forget it's 2012. It's 10 years old. I'm just saying nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying All right It looks fine. Obviously has the needle bearing on the pump, on the oil pump. Yeah. Looking good. But see, I don't think we're gonna have any problem with the output shaft, to be honest. I see the seal here, it's a little bit wet. Screw it, I have a seal. I'll go and change the seal. I'll go and change the seal. That's what I'm saying that. You are talking about rubber seals, so it's not only the mileage, it's also the, the, the age of the seal. Yeah, in any case, moving on. Okay, what do we have now? We have much better view on the seal. He's not gonna focus. Huh. Right. Obviously it was leaking. Fine, fine. Then, we have a clear view on the gasket and that's the reason why you have to change it. It doesn't matter, even if you put a new one, sometimes the coating of the gasket, it's coming apart, like, like this one. So you put a new gasket to have a peace of mind. Then, I don't see metallic savings inside, the magnets, it looks okay. I've seen much worse than this. It looks very nice, decent, good, fine. And then, yes, and then uh, the valve housing, solenoid valve housing, solenoid valve body. I have it here, I have to wrap it with nylon, take it inside the engine room to do, don't be contaminated. Let's do that now before I continue with anything else. And moving on, the, the output shaft doesn't have any problem. Okay, please put a sticker on this number plate, put a, put a white sticker on this number plate. Uh, the output shaft does have any problem. It came out the housing easily. I didn't face any problem. I didn't have to heat it. So it's not a formatic. Yeah, one of the reason, and it doesn't have a stupid amount of torque. All right, moving on. 
and that's how it looks like now we have there the gasket the old gasket the oil pan no need to get it inside the engine room torque converter i put the cap on it to don't be contaminated the transmission the two transmission diff the diff to don't be contaminated i have put the rag from before actually since yesterday actually the same thing for the auxiliary pump for the start and stop all right these parts no need to be inside the engine room no need on this stage as it is right now the gasket it goes back to the customer like a couple of other stuff belt housing need to be washed the transmission housing need to be washed i'm gonna remove completely the gear selector here with the parking brake and i'm gonna change also this seal to don't have any headache all right keep in mind we are talking about a non amg 72.9 all right and let's go inside all the parts are brought inside of the engine room here to don't be contaminated don't stay outside all right like i said the valve body here with the tcu it's wrapped with nylon stay there no need to touch it for those who don't know there are on the amg there are more clutches on the drums the b1 that we have in front of us all right there you see only four clutches there are different variables i mean the AMG has more clutches, the non-AMG doesn't have so many clutches, all right? And the output shaft, like I said, it's fine, parking brake over there, the oil pump, I have it over there, I'm gonna change the o-ring just in case you don't have any headache, it's flat, classic, it's a rubber o-ring, like I'm saying all the time. Now, now, I'm going outside to prepare the housing, and the bell housing, and the, the transmission housing, the two halves that I have outside, the oil pan to bring it inside, to put it on the table. Ah, by the way, I received today morning the oil filter, transmission oil filter and the seal. All right. The guys that I had it since yesterday, fine. Uh, by the way, that's what I'm seeing. The B1 brake example, it can have three, four or five clutches and depends how many clutches has inside, number of discs, all right. It's giving to you how much supposed to be the clearance. Same thing for the B2, same thing for the B3. You see, it, it might have from 4 to, till 6. It depends the application. The V12 has more, much more clutches and it's much longer the transmissions by 1 centimeter longer, between 9 and 11 millimeters, something like that. It's been a long time, just saying. Um, what, else? what else? No, sorry, I'm talking about 722.6 on the v12 yeah 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 it was longer the 7.9 i don't remember yeah so that's where i am now if there is no problem and i don't see any extra wear it doesn't bite the clutch here it's decent it's okay all right i'm continuing my job and i'm gonna put together i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna be uh, how I'm gonna be the clutches if they're okay or if it's suffering we can switch the K3 how it's gonna be. Not now. Not now. Why? Because usually I'm taking it apart completely. I'm washing it. I'm cleaning it to come completely dry to be able to eat through the drums, example. Uh, then I'm placing it here and then one at a time I'm doing it. But not in this case. In this case, they didn't give me the seal kit. All right. It's just only for a clutch upgrade. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change from my myself. I have a seal for the oil pan and I have the rear seal for the output shaft and I have also the small seal for the gear selector just in case you don't have a leak external at least fine fine that's it let me upload this video to don't be huge <coughs> and moving on like I said the differential later I will I want to see how it looks like the oil and how it looks like the two bearings on the carrier if it looks nice and clean it might not need to remove the the pinion bearings. We'll gonna see. We'll gonna see. If it's nice and clean, like I said inside, it does have metallic savings, clean oil, and the bearings looks decent. It'll gonna stay as it is. I'll gonna change only the two bearings on the carrier, the new one, the two new two seals, put the ring on it, the gear and finish the story. Uh, keep in mind what I said before. It's not a bone stock application that the owner, he wake up one day and he said, you know what, I'm going to put an LSD. 
for me at least, what does mean that one? That for the owner, it's not enough the the carrier the 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 open diff as it is right now. It's not enough. That means he already pushed it, let us say, at one point, and he said that you know what? No, I need an LSD, and he he said that you know what? I'm gonna put an LSD. So it's what I'm saying. It's not like you get one brand new diff and you just change the carrier inside. That's what I'm talking about. It's a used one. All right. And it's not an AMG. It's a normal one. They have some difference on the preload. There are differences. Like also the clutches, what you see here. There is, it's missing the rear cover. It's not the same like the AMG that they have a cooling fins. I'm trying to find one to see how much cost and if you want the customer to upgrade it. And I want to see also if it fits. It's supposed to fit the subframe, the rear subframe, the cross member is supposed to be the same. The suspension, the links, they're changing. Yeah, the offset and this kind of stuff. The, the space where it comes, the diff, it's supposed to be the same. Yeah, that's it, over and out. Let me continue. Let me continue to, to finalize it. <laughs> 